You're in the kitchen with me, Sanji B, here in Chester, South Carolina at the Friendship Missionary Baptist Church as they have pizza with pastor. drive through style. Greetings on behalf of the Friendship Missionary Baptist Church family. Certainly we are living through some unprecedented and unforeseen times. However, our faith in God still remains strong, and we know that it is through his strength and love that we are still able to do what he has called us to do. I do want to share, as we look at the facts concerning coronavirus and COVID-19, looking at some of the things as it concerns our state, the state of South Carolina, looking at how South Carolina ranks last in testing efforts all across the state. Matter of fact, African Americans account for 56% of the death toll for the coronavirus or COVID-19. Just in May, South Carolina finally announced that it was going to vamp up its efforts in order to test people all across the state in an aggressive format. These are things that we must, of course, exercise and use godly wisdom in concerning. How do we keep each other safe? How do we keep our family members safe? How do we keep our church members safe? And so in exercising our godly wisdom, of course, in all our getting, we get understanding, but we know that this too will pass. And so we here as a friendship family have learned how to write our story in a much different way. The story that we are writing will be a story that will be testified and shared after we have weathered this stormy storm, after we have gone through this plight of trying to figure out what do we do, how do we operate. Those are some of the questions that come and stem as we maneuver through these moments. We have had to develop new norms for the way in which we worship. You are able to be with us and join us on Facebook Live on Sunday mornings and on Wednesday evenings. I do want to say that even though we are worshiping virtually, the plans of God still moves on. The building is closed. However, the church, which is us, we remain open. We remain open to do the will of God and the work of the Lord. Certainly, I am grateful and blessed by our leadership team, how they have just been so effective and they have gone above and beyond during this time to make sure that the church is well taken care of and to also make sure that the church can still continue to be the church. They have done so in an excellent way, a great job of making sure that we stay connected with one another uh, by notifying uh, each other of things that may be happening out of the ordinary. So indeed, we are grateful. I'm thankful for all of the support and the prayers that have been given, that have been shared by the Friendship family. I am grateful for their support and for just us being a loving church, willing to serve by any means necessary. We know that this pandemic is not the end of anything, but we're thankful for how God is writing our story for us. As here, the Friendship family, as we stand as a cohesive unit, and as we stand to do what God has called us to do by way of ministry, we are thankful that even in this initiative, Pastor uh, Pizza with the Pastor and First Lady, um, this is an initiative that we use or that we started and we've done several times here at our church for our youth and young adults to find out about their life experiences and what they may be going through. So today we have modified that just to include the entire Friendship Faith community. And so they are able to drive by, pick up a slice of pizza, we are unable to embrace each other physically, but spiritually, seeing each other, we are able to uh, still have that contact and share in love and in grace and in support of each other.
I'm Pastor C and this is First Lady C and we are grateful that today has been an absolute success. Wow, this has been amazing. This effort to uh, come together and just see each other. We haven't seen each other in weeks. It's been months now. Right. So this has just been very exciting. We are so grateful for everyone that came, everyone that supported us, everyone that gave, whatever you did, if you showed up and got that pizza, we are so excited. And so glad to have seen you, and we pray that God continues to keep you and bless you, even amidst these unprecedented times. Right, and even though we're facing these unprecedented times, we're still going to be okay. So definitely reach out if you need anything. And we again say thank you so very much for all that everyone has done uh, to help us or to get through these moments. It has been phenomenal. One of the things that I would have us to know is that be not dismayed whatever betimes because God will certainly take care of us. It is up to us to exercise our godly wisdom and I'm just thankful for how God has been keeping us. Thankful for the Friendship family, for how they've just gone above and beyond, even down to this event today. There were many who called in who wanted to know what could they do to help make this event a success. And that is what being the church, doing church looks like. And so I'm absolutely thankful that I pastor a progressive body of believers here at the Friendship Church, 591 Columbia Road in the beautiful city of Chester, South Carolina. I am indeed eternally grateful for how we work together, how we share in unity, share in laughter and in love to know that whatever may come our way, we can handle it because as a unified body, we desire to do the will of God, to show the love of Christ, and to make sure that we are able to lend a helping hand to all humankind. So we are indeed thankful, grateful, and appreciative. And as I always say, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. God bless you. Many blessings, everybody, and remember to follow Friendship Missionary Baptist Church, Chester, South Carolina, on their Facebook page. Also, follow Fab Foodie Club on Instagram and subscribe. Click the bell, ding, 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 on YouTube. Many blessings, and thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, wash your hands, and all other parts. Bye-bye.